In this video, we're going to take a look at Autodesk Inventor 2013 Drawing Enhancements. We'll start off with a simple one, and that's deleting multiple sheets at once. You can simply right click on a sheet, select Delete Sheet, expand your options, and now toggle Yes No to additional sheets you might want to also delete. Conversely, you could also hold down shift and use control to do selection of sheets in your model browser. Before this was done one at a time. You still have the option to select yes or no. Next up, we'll take a look at copying a view on an existing sheet. So here we'll do a copy and a paste. To do this before, you'd actually have to copy the view to another sheet and then re-bring it back to the existing sheet you were just on. On this hatch view, we're going to look at the new symbol and text clipping. So if I put text in on the hatch, it will clip around it based on your boundary. So just be careful how big your boundary is. Here I'll just simply resize it to adjust the clipping. And you can see the hatch pattern does not interact with the text. It does not go through it. The same thing will be said for a leader. So we'll go ahead and place a leader here. Put some leader text on. You'll notice the same thing. And lastly, we'll throw a datum target in here uh, for also showing that it does work with some symbols as well. So we'll show this datum target. And again, that will clip automatically around there for you. So you don't have to worry about it going it, uh, interacting with the hatch. Next up, we'll take a look at an enhancement that you can do from the assembly side. So normally we would right click on a top level assembly and we can choose the open drawing command. Now what they've enhanced for 2013 is you can drill down an individual component and do an open drawing. So this right here is pretty legacy. If you activate the part, you can do the open drawing. But if you're at the top level assembly, if you go down to component, you can now have the option to open drawing from the component flyout. So just less digging around you have to do. Nice and beneficial on big designs, actually. Now, if no drawing exists for it, it does still prompt the open screen to have you go out and hunt for it. Next up, we'll take a look at the source base view. So let's say I create a brand new drawing and let's say I had a drawing open that was, let's say, oh, I don't know, 5,000 parts. So with 5,000 parts in it, if I had the last view active, then it would take a long time to load to get that drawing base view in there. Um, what it does now, as compared to what it did previously, is what it does now, it would actually look at your last active view, your last active model, and bring that in as your base reference, your default reference. So if for some reason you accidentally had your 5,000 piece one active, that's still an issue. So this really helps the users that have 5,000 piece assembly, drill down, drill down, drill down, drill down, activate a component, and then try to create a drawing of that component. They would sometimes sit there for five or 10 minutes, whereas now it's much quicker. You don't have that lag time. And our last enhancement to look at is the ability to deselect the 15 degree lock that balloons have. So if you don't like the 15 degree increments that the balloons will adjust to, hold down control and you can place your balloon anywhere within that range of placement. 